guys and welcome back. Today is a Sketch Tuesday video and I'm going to take the subject matter of this one very lightly. I just wanted something that I could sit down and enjoy the medium itself and the subject matter could be a tool that I can use to simply sit down and work on learning a little bit more. So what I'm using today is gouache and I've been doing a few couple of <laughs> a couple of videos the last few times that have been new mediums and I'm really looking forward to refreshing the way that I think when I'm looking at starting a new piece so that I can maybe choose different mediums depending on the outcome that I want rather than always catering everything to watercolor alone. And I think that that's gonna really refresh the way that I like to work. And I'm particularly excited about gouache because it has a lot of similarities to watercolor while still being very different in a fundamental way that I think will really break me out of that regimented way that I work. So the big thing that I'm really excited about gouache is the fact that it is opaque. This is something that I can build up. I can cover things over if I decide that I want to add something or change it. That's really the biggest drawback to me with watercolor is that I have to be extremely planned out from the beginning. I have to know where everything's going to be, all the details and everything so that I can map it out from the very start and then I can work forward from there. And I'd really like to be able to work at least in some of my pieces in a way where I can make these changes. I can have this great idea of a detail that I want to add that will really change the piece itself and that I can be able to put that in there and include those and change the way that the piece is going. So that's actually something that I find really exciting and not something that I'm used to in my traditional work. It's very similar to the way that I would think when I'm doing digital where I can change things really at any point. So this is gonna be something that will really help. I think that the main way that I actually do wanna use gouache though is a little bit more of a mixed media approach because I do actually really love line work and I like having that show through and that works really great with watercolor. So by using it with watercolor, gouache and watercolor together, I think that I'll be able to combine some of those things that I want where I want to add details and I want to add these elements to it that I don't necessarily think about at the very beginning of a piece. I can add those later on while still having a structure that's created through line work and watercolor, I think. So I think that this will be something that will really liven up the way that I already work without throwing me completely for the loop and taking away everything that I know. It, it's just building up on that. And today I'm working with magic bottles. I love drawing bottles so much, but the biggest benefit is that I can be really creative with the shapes and the colors and the way that it's transparent. There are just endless ways to draw a bottle. And I love the fact that they can tell a story. That's the thing that I love the most about it is that I can think about what kind of potion or what magic element would be inside of it and then design the bottle around it. So this is actually something that I draw pretty frequently when I'm feeling a little bit stagnant. I don't know what to draw and I can't really think of something. A lot of times I'll just revert back to doing something like this where I think, okay, what's a cool kind of a potion and how would I represent that in a bottle in a way that visually it shows what would happen. And that's just a really easy way to get ideas of things to draw is just look for a little concept and how can I explain that in a larger way. And so far I've been really loving the feeling of working with this gouache. It has a really soft kind of a feel to it. And the way that it interacts with the layers that's already on it, I can see where it can be very frustrating, but also really pleasant because it does reactivate the layers below it. So there's a few times where I wanted to put a lighter layer on top and it would pick up that really bright red, for example, underneath it. And it's definitely one of those things where it will take a little bit to figure out exactly how to control it in that way, which means that I'll be able to get to a point where I can use it the way that I want it to. I can use the way that it interacts with its own layers to my advantage. But 
I think the thing that I love the most about gouache is actually one of the things that I love the most about acrylics and that is that it's water soluble. And I love the fact that it's so easy to clean up and it's reactivatable. I absolutely hate using acrylic for the one reason that when I have extra paint on my palette and it dries out, it's this horrible waste. And honestly, it kind of stresses me out knowing that I had this perfectly good art supply that's just gone to waste. And rather than serving its purpose and becoming art, it's just getting thrown away. And I hate that feeling. So with gouache and with watercolor, it it is always usable. Even this very dried out version of the gouache, I can reactivate it and mix it together and create more art with it. So I absolutely prefer water soluble paints like this. It works a lot better with the way that I work, especially since I'm not really great at gauging how much to mix. So with watercolor, I know that if I mix too much, it's okay because I'm gonna use that color and it'll just sit in my palette till my next piece. But when I'm working with something like acrylic, it dries out and that's it. There's no more using that, no more getting use out of it. So I definitely, definitely prefer water soluble. And I think that's another reason why I think that it'll go really well with watercolor is because they are both based very similarly and the way that I will work with them and break them down is the same. So I think on the same piece, they'll really marry well together and get an interesting effect while still not clashing in the way that they look either. And I actually did a couple bottles before that I totally cut out of this video because I didn't feel that they were really all that successful, but they were very helpful for me to be able to get an idea of how to handle the gouache. It is something where it's kind of interesting. I can see this timeline of these little bottles of the point where I felt like I was starting to get a hang of how I like to handle it. It was really at the point where I was starting to do that skull bottle with the minty color where I was starting to feel how I liked it, how much water to mix to get it thin enough to spread evenly, but still keep it opaque enough that I was still getting a nice, even solid coverage. That was the first step for me feeling a little bit more comfortable with this is figuring out how much water I wanted to mix in to create that. But once I got to this yellow bottle, I really felt a lot more comfortable with it. Definitely, I have a lot to learn with it, so by no means do I mean to say that I felt like I know what I'm doing, but it felt like I was enjoying the way that it felt and I could kind of get the effects that I wanted rather than feeling more out of control like I did with those first bottles. And it was interesting because as I was working on this, in this new medium, I felt like I was not sure how to deal with the colors anymore. Uh, working with the color, I actually feel pretty comfortable with when I'm using watercolors. It comes pretty naturally, but when I was working with the squash, I felt like I was not sure how to place it, how to work with it. And it was interesting that taking one element, the medium that I was not sure how to use, threw me for a loop in other areas that I felt pretty okay and secure in. And I like that. I like that it was pushing me to rethink some of the things that I was thinking because it does handle differently. And I do have to think about the way that I'm layering the colors differently. And I think that that absolutely makes me a better artist because I'm rethinking some of the things that I not wouldn't necessarily have even thought about like the colors because I did feel okay about it. So Pushing myself to feel like maybe I don't 100% know what I'm doing is always a good thing, honestly. And that is it for today's Sketch Tuesday. I do actually have a pretty big announcement. I have been doing three videos a week for pretty much this whole year, actually, but I'm going to be dropping down to two videos. The biggest reason is that I would like to spend more time on that final piece that I have every Saturday. And I think that the more time that I have to spend, the better these pieces will be. So overall, the content will be an improvement and I won't be creating less content, just less video content. So if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll have a link down in the description. You'll be able to see all of the in-between stuff that I do, the sketches, the other pieces that don't turn into videos. So yeah, if you'd like to see more of my work, that's mostly where I like to post. 
and as usual I have these little pieces available at my shop so if you'd like to own a nice cheap original from me I will have a link down in the description as well as in the end card and I will have a link to all of the tools and everything and all the paints that I use down in the description as well so I will see you guys on Saturday for my next video and from this week on I'll be uploading every Wednesdays and Saturdays so thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys at my next one.